every time that I think of the year 2020, I just get this overwhelming sense of significance. This overwhelming sense that something big is happening, something exciting and extraordinary, and it's coming to almost like a climax in my life and some of the lives of the people around me as well. And so I just couldn't help but just kind of unpack that and just ramble right now about what I think God is doing prophetically in this season and in the year 2020. The first thing that I keep thinking about when I see the number 2020 is obviously 2020 vision. And I believe 2020 vision means that you have perfect vision, like the vision is so crystal clear. And I feel like maybe some of us have had visions of what we thought we were gonna do and accomplish actually come to completion and come completely into focus. And what I think I mean by that is that destinies and callings and prophetic words that maybe we've forgotten about or maybe we haven't done anything about for a long time are suddenly going to be clear. In the Bible the number 20 means exactly the same thing, it means completion and usually we see the number 20 in terms of like 20 years coming to an end and there are characters like Jacob and Solomon that went through a time of either suffering or a time of waiting where nothing seemed to happen until 20 years later. So Jacob, for example, he worked so hard for 20 years before he could receive the inheritance, receive what he had been working for, what his dream was, what his goal was. Or maybe you're a bit like Solomon who was building a temple, was building a ministry, was building a house for himself and it took 20 years to build before he could move in there properly. I know there are some dreams and some prophetic words that have been said over me and there are some things that I just haven't really tapped into since hearing them and done nothing about and almost feeling a little bit sort of guilty and wondering if I need to repent or maybe just need to recognize that the time is now and that God has been sort of waiting for this year knowing that there's going to be breakthrough. I know that also Jesus himself worked years as a carpenter until the age of 30 before his ministry really took off and I feel like so many people around me are trying to rush things or they're suffering from a bit of disappointment but I feel like if, if that's you and if you feel like do you know what I just don't think these things are going to ever happen I want I want you to just think about the year 2020 right now and believe with me and declare with me and pray with me that this is the year where things begin to change. I just feel God saying that I see you. I see the work that you've been doing. I see the years of toil. I see the years of struggle. And I hear him saying I'm ready to just pour out breakthroughs and pour out answers to prayers. And this 2020 year of completion, I mean it in a positive, encouraging way, but also in like a warning way that I see it being, I see justice and I see things like court cases that have gone on for years also like coming to an end and I see like a separation of the good and the bad where it's been sort of like a grey area and I can see even in this lead up to 2020 that a separation is beginning to happen. I can see it in Hollywood, I can see it in the media, in the creative arts, I see God breaking into those areas where we feel like we haven't really seen him before and there's been struggle there before. I feel like there's going to be just doors opening in those areas and so receive that if that's for you. So here's what I'm going to do and what I hope you do as we come into this new year, 2020. I want you to look back at what God has said. I want you to look back at the promises and I want you to ask him to remind you of those things that you maybe have forgotten about. Those things that maybe he put on your heart years ago and maybe your disappointment or your distraction or your busyness might have got in the way. And Father, I just want to say remind us, remind us of what those things are that you want us to do. I just, the word destiny just rings out 
over 2020. The word legacy rings out over this year and I'm excited about that. I'm excited for people to be doing what they should be doing and for people to see completion in what hasn't been completed. I believe organizations, ministries, and businesses are gonna be established this year that contracts are gonna be signed. You know what I mean when I talk about your dreams, those things that seem maybe a little bit impossible. They're the things that God is bringing up right now. And 2020 is the year that we're gonna see people just change whole careers. They're gonna change whole mindsets and we're gonna see God just break into whole new areas where we feel like we haven't seen him before, where we've once said, oh, that's a dark area. We're gonna say, wow, that area is just full of light and joy and the glory of God. What do you wanna do with the rest of your life? What have you been dreaming about that you haven't let God into yet? 2020 is gonna be a big year, a significant year. I hope you're ready.